and now it needs to follow this left lane and is it gonna do it is it gonna do it it did it and i think it might change lanes yeah it did i'm gonna let it though and just see what it does <laughs> Welcome back to Tesla Driver, everybody, and welcome to Liverpool. This is actually part five of our UK autopilot road tour, and no better time to come to Liverpool than Champions League final day, of which Liverpool are obviously playing Tottenham. But this isn't about the football, but that's why I've kind of come here today. We're going to be going into the middle of Liverpool, and then we're going to be trying to uh, go to Anfield as well. I've never actually been to Liverpool before, so this is all going to be brand new to me, and I'm really intrigued to see kind of how the city's made, what the roads are like and kind of what is around we're starting off with some pretty tight bends here we've actually come off of the m62 i think it is so we started off on a motorway here and now we're uh, just coming through to some more normal roads and our first little bits of red lights so yeah it says from about this point it should take 10 minutes to get into the center of liverpool so those of you who have been really liking these autopilot videos and i want to say a huge thank you for the support on them and thank you to everybody that's bought a tesla through my referral program i can't believe that actually nine people have bought teslas through my referral code which is absolutely awesome so thank you guys so much for that Okay, so we've lost all lines and the car, yeah, the car was going left, right. You could see the wheel there. Didn't really know what way to go. Uh, so it just kind of went straight back into uh, abort mode and went all over the place like it used to before. Now this is interesting here. This is telling us to get over and get left. So I assume this right lane is going to disappear and it's just all going to merge into one. I'm not 100% sure, there's, there's no lines and yeah okay so there's lines here so that's okay now one thing i have noticed from the comments is people are kind of stunned and potentially appalled by the way our road networks here work in the uk especially with people parking on the roads i know i don't understand it either but yeah people do park on the roads and it will make autonomy very very hard here but hopefully so far liverpool they aren't parking on the road they're actually parking up on the the pavement which i don't know if that's better but it's better for autonomy at least from first uh, little inspection as well is the roads are going to be potentially a little bit questionable i'm going to set the distance to just one click behind the car in front we were currently set of four behind and it just seems a little bit too far away so now there's going to be no lines in the middle of the road here but it can see the lines ahead and it follows those quite nicely i think we're going to stick in this middle lane and stay here because this seems to be the lane that has the most line markings which is good plus i have no idea where i'm going so it's nice just to be in the middle lane again line markings have gone and the car just kind of started swerving to the right so obviously i had to take control but it did start swerving there to the right when it lost all line markings to turn right was actually the correct thing for it to do but it shouldn't have turned quite as harsh as it did Now this is actually a fairly nice road network here. This is <clears throat> good lines. It's like nice width of roads. There are lots of uh, red lights and everything, but I, I prefer that currently than roundabouts because obviously this can't do roundabouts. It looks like as well, this is gonna be one kind of straight road into the middle of the city. So this could be actually a fairly successful one for autopilot to achieve and to do. This might even be the best city yet that it's done it in. Now, some people have asked about the zigzag lines in the road sometimes. There's not them here, but I'll point them out next time I see them. That's actually just for a zebra crossing. So it's just a warning basically that a zebra crossing is there and you can't park on a zebra crossing. Again, no road lines. You can see the wheel went a little bit left and right, but it was okay because it was just going straight. Here are the zigzags that I was mentioning. But the Tesla actually doesn't seem to be bothered by the zigzag lines at all. I've never noticed them make uh, any issues for it. It's never like really darted left, right, left, right across the zigzags. It seems each time that there are these red lights, the middle lane markings do disappear, which could be an issue, but luckily they're quite short so it can see the next lines and it can just kind of follow those. But I am worried that that's the one bit that this may f seem to fail at constantly in this city is that they don't follow the lines through, which is a little bit worrying. 
So I'm gonna make a lane change. I'm gonna go into the right hand lane uh, in a second. I'm just gonna let this car, actually this car's slowing down. There's no point me going in that lane. I do wanna try lane changes and stuff like that though in the city just to check it works. So I'm gonna give one a go right now and I'm just indicating right. The car's gone over by itself and that was over zigzags as well. And it's gone into this right hand lane without a problem. So that was really quite good. So again, the roads, the lines completely disappear here in the road, but the car's actually done it fine. And yep, yeah, it did that very, very well. Again, no lines here, but the car's doing it absolutely fine. And it looks like we are in the correct lane. Yeah, we are in the correct lane because we're gonna be going right here, but obviously it's not gonna be going around this corner by itself. I'm gonna let it though and just see what it does. Yeah, it was going that way. It was going, it was going down there. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted it to do, but it wasn't to know there were no lines. You see, actually, interestingly enough, it did start to turn right, and then it decided like last second to, to kind of go back left. So something there was trying to calculate maybe where the other cars were going or maybe where cars have gone before, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's still not not ready for that yet. Now this is interesting. There's no car behind us or around us and I think it might change lanes. Yeah, it did, it did. It actually did change lanes completely there. So it went into the middle lane, which it really shouldn't have done. We've got quite a tight left corner here and it did that corner absolutely no problems. Now one reason I've come and done this a little bit early, some of you guys will see that it's actually not uh, Champions League day today, it is a couple of weeks before. It's because there was an update for the Model X and Model S here in the UK, which actually restricts the driving capabilities of autopilot and it makes it way, way worse apparently. It actually makes it so the car can't steer as much um, and can't do quite as tight turns, which is just ridiculous. So I've actually ignored that update. I've stayed off Wi-Fi and I'm on an older version, 2019.12.11, which still has the same functionalities as before. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna get into the right lane here and we're indicating across. It's doing it again all by itself there with no problems. And I'm just gonna cancel this and I'm gonna navigate myself to Anfield. And we can go have a look at Anfield and see, how do I get there? It is right here, okay, perfect. Okay, so I think we're taking a right here. So I think we're following this uh, Vauxhall in front of us. And I'm not 100% sure it's not doing it by itself. So obviously I'll just do that myself. And there's no lines here, but we can see the lines ahead. So hopefully the car will see, see that, which it does. And it goes round, no problem. Let's bring that down, back down to the speed limit. So this here is interesting. This is bumping us into a, a what, a one lane? Is this a one lane carriageway? I'm, I'm not really sure. The car's kind of gone into the middle of this lane and I assume this is, a, this is a single, but look at this, the car's all over the place. Whoa, yeah, I'm going over here. <laughs> so again, is this one road or two roads? I have no idea and it doesn't seem like the car does and I'm gonna have to pull it off autopilot just because we have got a car now come up to the left of us and I can't figure out if he wants to undertake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slow down over here and let him go past me because I'm not quite sure how this road works. Okay, there we go. So now we're back behind this car. See, he's all the way over here, so I'm just gonna like copy what he's doing, but you can see Autopilot doesn't want to work at all. Autopilot is saying, nope, it's, there we go. But look at the width of this road, look at the width of it, it's so wide. But that was really weird, it didn't figure out, I couldn't even figure out for myself if that was for two cars or one car back then. So that's something that maybe needs to be sorted. Again, locally, that was just because of the really crappy lines. We've got a speed bump coming up, but it'll do nothing for it. And again, we've got the bus line, which is slightly confusing the road markings. You can see the car jolting a little bit left and right here. But I've got to say, this is working so well in a city. Like this city is absolutely brilliant for autopilot. It's got nice wide roads. There's space for like cyclists and stuff. If they just made this either two lanes or one lane, if they could decide that, that would be great so that the car doesn't do this and like jump left, right, left, right and everything. So we're gonna be going right here. So we do need to be in the right hand lane, which is what it wants to do, I think. And we're just gonna sit behind this car here. So again, here we're losing all lines. We actually wanna go right here with those cars. It wasn't going to do it. 
it was just going straight into uh, into the oncoming traffic on the other side of the road. So I thought I would uh, take back control of it there. Again, we need to be behind a car here because if we're not, then we're not gonna stop at these red lights. So I'm indicating to come into this right lane and we're going to sit behind this people carrier here. This is gonna be another hard test for it here. Oh, we were nearly going for some reason to curb on the right there. I'm not sure why the car felt like that was the correct thing to do. But we're going into some insanely bright sunlight of which even I kind of struggle to see if I'm being honest. Um, we're just going to come up behind this taxi yeah, it's quite lucky we bought that car in front of us actually just so that <laughs> we've got someone in front that the car can judge speed and everything off of. And we actually want to follow him right here. So I'm going to indicate right, but the car didn't want to go right. So I'm going to have to take it right myself. We're going into some smaller roads now. And again, interestingly, the taxi is kind of like all the way over here, which the car is now kind of copying. And now it's getting right behind the taxi. But again, the cars weren't parked on the road out of bays. They were all in bays on the road, which was quite nice to see. So that is definitely a massive difference. Comparing this to like Birmingham or Bristol, for example, it makes so much difference. Again, there's no central road lines. There's no real left road lines here, but the car is figuring it out. It's figuring it out to be in the middle. You can see we've got some lines here and there it is. Is that Anfield? It's Anfield. It is. It says it, we're a wave. Look at it. Oh my God, it is huge. Wow. So if you didn't know, I am a Liverpool fan. Oh, I'm not, I'm a Swindon fan, but I'm a Liverpool fan because of my dad. We're going all the way over to the left side of the road there. Uh, sorry, the right side of the road. Look at the, oh wow, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But we can't autopilot past it, which is interesting. You can see the autopilot is currently saying no, and it didn't want to be uh, used for any of that. So these roads around here, actually the roads around Anfield are actually pretty bad for autopilot. It doesn't want to pick them up. Here we go. Okay, we're back now onto a road where it is picking it up. We've got a car parked in front. So this is um, actually funny enough. So there's no one behind us, okay? Now that's actually in a space and we've stopped now. There's no one around us. Yeah, the car wasn't going around it. But by the way, it is 6 a.m., which is why I've come and done this at this time uh, so that there's no one around. So again, as we come up here, the lines are just all, look at the car, it's all over the place because of the lines being all over the place. So that's not, that's not good. That's definitely something that needs to be sorted. But oddly, it's actually really, really quiet and calm here. And it's a really good test for autopilot because of that. Kind of on some red lights now, so I am gonna have to take control. So next up, I'm actually driving straight over to Manchester to film the episode before this episode. So again, here's the bus lines. Is it gonna go left now into those? It's not, it's going slightly right. And it looks like it's gonna sit behind these cars. So that actually did that correctly and well. So yeah, I'm actually going up to Manchester way now. So I might as well set my route to be heading over to Manchester and gonna go film there. So I'm gonna go to this supercharger and charge before I head over to Manchester. Again, we're going into a kind of a big area where there's there's no lines, but hopefully you can see that line over there. And yeah, it does, and it just kind of follows it. Again, super wide road, but it is actually sitting us nicely in the middle of it. Now we're going slightly over to the right, and now to the left at the last second. This is a very hit and miss city. I think with a little bit of money on like the road markings, this city could be fully ready for autonomy so quickly. Here we go. So we've got cars on our side of the road here. Yeah, and it didn't want to go. It was just getting too close to them for my liking. Uh, but yeah, you know what happens. It's just going to slam on on those cars anyway. So there's no real point me uh, giving that a go. I wanna go into this left lane, whereas obviously the car was gonna go into the right lane. Now I think it's gonna have some pretty big issues here just because again, the road has no lines and I can't quite see. So there we go, now we can see the lines ahead. It's seen them and it follows them. It actually did that really well again. You know, sometimes it does stuff and surprises you really nicely. And then on other, some simple tasks, it doesn't seem to quite grasp. So again, we've got speed bumps here that the car is working on and going over. Oh, the road gets tighter as cars are parked in this road and somebody with flags is driving on by. Again, cars parked. It does evade them very slightly, but I wish it did it with a little bit more confidence. 
and speed bumps, it definitely needs some sort of extra speed pump detection just so that it slows down and doesn't speed up like after the fact as well. But as you can see, the car's dealing with the sunshine actually really well. It's not seeming to make any you know, issues because of it. It's not making the car perform differently. We're now gonna lose all lines here and pick them back up again here, but you wouldn't have known it. The car did very well again. We're just gonna try and change uh, lanes and just go over into that right-hand lane and see if it does a lane change. Oh, no, didn't wanna do it there. Auto lane change canceled, it said there at the bottom. So we've got no one behind us again, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Yeah, it doesn't wanna do it. So you can see that it's saying no to the lane change. Now it might do it. Okay, now it's giving it a go. And yeah, there we go. It's done the lane change. So the first, I'm not sure why the first time I didn't want to do it, but the second time it did it, no problem. And we're able to change over into this lane. So I think this is actually where we came in and we're actually coming out on the same road, funnily enough. Yeah, it literally, I think it is the same road that we came in on that we're coming out. So we've done a little lap there of Liverpool. doing really well though on this dual carriageway i think it's going to get a little bit more intense here as the lanes start changing and people go in different directions i'm pretty sure we're in the right lane and i've actually everyone stopped there and yep the car does stop it stopped a little bit harsher than i was expecting actually this next junction that's coming up, I think will be impossible for the Tesla to do. It's just the way that, I don't know if you, you probably can't see it yet, but the two lines, yeah, I'm gonna have to be really vigilant here because I don't think, if I'm being honest, that the autopilot system is gonna be able to do this uh, by itself. I'll be amazed if it does, but I'm ready to take control. So you can see here again, we're kind of going straight and now it needs to follow this left lane. And is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? It did it, it actually did it, okay, well. I've eaten my own words right there. I think it followed that black line where the tarmac was broken around that corner. I think it followed that and that actually, well, that just made it work. So these are slightly tighter lanes and it's sped up to a 40. So we are going a little bit quicker over these. But again, the sunlight is absolutely blinding but luckily it is just a straight kind of a straight kind of line for us as we come out of liverpool here i think it's come up it came, it came out of a 40 into a 70 and i didn't even realize so everyone's just started speeding up so i'm gonna start speeding up but you can see that the sunlight is incredibly bright but that's not a problem for us and there we go back onto the m62 on our way to the next autopilot test. So I hope you enjoyed this test in Liverpool, everybody. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I actually think it went really, really well this time. And this is progress. This is definite progress. Uh, I'm gonna give it one last harsh test. This is harsh. Into the sunlight. Gonna try and change lanes on a corner. It should do it. And it does do it with absolutely no problems at all. Well done, autopilot. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.